All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off, as always, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord and Savior, who the world and we know is Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem, Rechakadash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. And it's the inspiration given to us to do these Lord willing, edifying lessons. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and salutations to you, sincere brothers, faithful and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling and shalom to the believers who subscribe wholeheartedly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shah to this word. All right. Um, we're just going to get into a, a quick topic the brother had entitled uh, uh, Salvation is Open Up to the uh, Gentiles. Right. So, you know, going into this. Uh, controversial topic you know most Christians anyway don't understand the difference all right between the natural Gentiles and the unnatural Gentiles okay because you got two types of Gentiles when it's pertaining to salvation all right the Gentiles are actually Israelites okay because only the nation of Israel can receive salvation no other nation is able to uh, obtain the new covenant okay which that's ultimately what sal salvation is going to come through the lord putting his law statutes and commandments in our inward parts and you can reference that back to uh what's that jeremiah is that 31 all right jeremiah 31 hebrews 8 hebrews the eighth chapter okay and um that's only going to be granted on this side to the elect okay but as it is written in uh, Romans 11, all Israel will be saved, okay, through the loins of the elect in the kingdom, okay, those who, that, that do not come back out of that Gentile state of mind, okay? So, uh, you know, we're going to get a few scriptures, you know, Lord willing to do something quick and edifying for the elect, all right? I'm going to get this for you. Uh, this first Corinthians 12... Uh, one, mm -hmm. now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Right. So, when you go into the scripture, it says, "Ye know that ye were Gentiles." Okay. So, you, if you are natural Gentile, there's nothing you can do to stop yourself from being a natural Gentile. But the Lord says, uh, ultimately, if they refuse to hearken, let them be counted as the heathen. Mm -hmm. you, you, can you get that? Yeah. Because our people, as he said, was carried away unto these dumb idols, which was ultimately spiritual adultery against the Most High. And when we go and worship other idols and we don't... Uh, Worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He turns his back. He turns his back on us and allows us uh, to be, you know, given unto those idols. All right. Which all this is when you read the scriptures and understand the narrative of the Bible. All this was prophesied to happen to the Israelites. This entire Bible is about the journey of the Israelites into idolatry. All right, from the Most High into idolatry and coming back. All right to the most high through what through repentance of sin through Yahweh Shai but it's also a gift to be able to come back that's why I say I would have you uh, not be ignorant that's why Apostle Paul said now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I will not have you ignorant okay so what happened was through the process of time of being uh, scattered throughout all these other nations we took on the customs and religions and, and uh, ideologies of those heathens and became likened unto them. Got it? And yeah, it's Matthew 18 and 17. And if he should neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Right. So ultimately what happens is when you don't hear the words of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, which he has a church set up to do what? Tell you, okay? what his um uh, what his will is okay starting with Yahweh Shai and then the prophets and the men of the Lord so if you don't if you don't listen if you don't come back like apostle Paul was one of those men 
That's why he was, that's why he was saying I would not have you ignorant. You you were carried away into these dumb idols, and you need to repent and come back before you are destroyed. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because we all were on Gentile and in a Gentile state of mind before we were woken up in the truth. We ain't going out. We ain't pork, seafood, not keeping the last test commandments. Mm -hmm. But this on um, wisdom Solomon fourteen and um uh, twelve. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Right. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. Right. So we were corrupted. Right. Because Yahweh Shai is life. And we, we were uh, pretty much through being uh, wicked. Okay. We were given unto these idols who have not known the ways of righteousness. Okay. So in the process uh, of us. Um, through age after age, uh, uh, going after these heathens, we completely lost who we were. You see, because through every captivity up until the time of the the Greeks, and really under the uh, rule of uh, the Seleucids and the Ptolemies, right? We we began to uh, ultimately uh, forget, you know, who we really were. You know, we yeah. forgot our heritage. Get that Jeremiah uh, 17 real quick. Yeah, I got you. Just the book of Jeremiah um, 17. What's that? Listen. 17 and 4. Yep. It's like Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. Mm -hmm. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. But ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right, because see, when you don't listen to the Lord and, and obey His law, statutes, and commandments, you know, you cause His indignation to come upon you, and that's what we did as a, as a people. You know, we 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 provoked the Lord to anger, to give us uh, and deliver us into the hands of death, really. You know, because you know. Uh, the ways of, of Yahweh Shimi Shah is life. That's why Yahweh Shah said, Well, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but through me. Yep. And in the Heavenly Father is known as who? The ancients of days. Okay, so he grants time. Alright? He give he he has the ability to allow you to live forever or have you live a, a short time. You know, he determines how long you are able to live, right? So the whole thing for Israel, the gift of Israel was really immortality through his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So it says again here, and I'm going to read this little commentary, okay? Now concerning, can you get Ephesians 2 and 8 while <laughs> yeah, that's right. come? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led, but focusing on spiritual gifts it says here the greek word translated gifts is charismata the source of our word charismatic the word could also be interpreted as gifts of grace right go ahead Ephesians 2 and 8 for by grace ye save so like for by grace are ye saved through faith and then not of yourselves it is the gift of Yahweh Shema Shai. Right. And when you go into that into that word grace, it means divine influence of the mind, all right, from the most high. So if the Lord hadn't sent his ministers and his servants unto us, because even even we, you say, because we read Jeremiah 17 and 4, right? You know, he said, uh, and, and, and ye shall discontinue from that, and ye shall be discontinued from thy heritage, you know? Even, even the prophets... Even the men that 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 totally uh, were in line with the Most High, they, you know, they went off. You know, the Lord caused the whole, whole entire nation. King David, you know, King Solomon. So as as our kings fell, you know, we all fell. But because the Lord has given us that grace, all right, we are able to come back into the fold. No matter where we are on the earth. And that was prophesied, man. Okay? Can you get Isaiah? Uh, 10. I think it's 11. Isaiah 
Yeah, yeah, live in the Come. Yo, this is Isaiah 11 and 10. And that day, there should be a root of Jesse, which should stand for an ensign of the people. To it should the Gentiles seek, and his rest should be glorious. And that's Yahweh Shah, yeah. right? That, that's 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 Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah, he set up uh, uh, the Apostle Paul to be a minister unto the Gentiles, okay? And when you get into... Uh, Paul's um, when you get into Paul's ministry he's very precise and distinct about who it's going to right who who is who he every time he addresses uh these Israelites in these different uh provinces in in Rome he's making it plain that he's speaking to the Israelites man yep. okay he said even if even in the opening precept in first Corinthians 12 he said uh brethren Right now, we're gonna get who his brethren was real quick, and then we'll go back to Isaiah 11. Romans 9. This is the book of Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse for my shot, for my brethren, for his brethren, for my kinsmen, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, who are Israelites. All right, and what and who. Uh, what was given unto the Israelites? Go ahead. To whom pertaining the adoption, the adoption, and the glory, and the glory, and the covenants, and the covenants, and the giving of the law. And that's why Apostle Paul said, "Brethren, I will not have ye ignorant concerning spiritual gifts." Right. You know. Before he even got to Corinthians, he was in Rome, <laughs> telling the Romans the very same thing. He uh was telling the Korean everywhere he went, he pretty much said the same thing. This is to the Israelites. This is to the Israelites who pertain to the adoption and the covenants. Go ahead. And the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. And the service of the law and the promises. So all the gifts belong to Israel, man. All right? Yep. So he's saying that he wished it could have been him instead of Yahweh Shah. But it couldn't be him because of this very prophecy that we're reading here in Isaiah 11. So go back to Isaiah 11, start at 10 again. Isaiah 11, 10. And in that day, there should be a root of Jesse, which should stand for an ensign of the people, mm -hmm. to which should a Gentile seek, mm -hmm. and his rest should be glorious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it should come to pass in that day that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, shall set his hand again the second time, to recover the remnant of his people, mm -hmm. which should be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Mm -hmm. And he shall sit up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. The outcasts of who? Israel. The outcasts of who? Israel. The outcasts of Israel. Look up that word outcast in the blue letter. Strong's H, 1760. Dacha. Dacha. Uh, it said to push, thrust, chase, overflow, totter, soar, drive away. Drive away. Drive away or out. Mm -hmm. Be outcast, be cast down. Now let me read 1 Corinthians 12 again. <laughs> yep. That's it. I also go with the um oh boy. What's the ask the second chapter with the devout man under heaven? Yeah, out of every out of yeah. You can Google that. Let me see. Yeah. So this is it. this is uh this is uh first Corinthians twelve and two. Ye know that you were Gentiles carried away. So another way to say carried away is what? Outcast. You were casted out unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Led by what? The spirit. So this was prophesied for the Israelites to be casted out of the temple. All right. Which is the body of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Into the body of these different uh, nations and their idols. Okay. Yep. Hey, the outcast on entomology is saying exile. Exile. I can stop right there. Right. You know. Yep. And that happened. That happened uh, first to the... Uh, to the northern kingdom under the Assyrians, and then it happened to the southern kingdom under the Babylonians. All right, and from that point on, 
we would continually cast it away. Yep. We continue exile from 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 nation to nation, right? Yeah, and just just a quick picture of the um, Acts. You can go like Acts two eleven, Acts two nine, the Pentecost. You can see it. This is where our people were scattered from. Yeah, you know, to the curses. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. Tobit thirteen. No, Hold on, let me finish. Yeah, oh, yeah, finish Isaiah eleven. Okay, so I I'll pick it back up, and it says. Uh, Isaiah 11 and 10 And he shall set up an ensign For the nations and shall assemble The outcasts of Israel And gather together the dispersed mm. Of Judah From the four corners of the earth Man Yep <laughs> So that's because when you Even when you deal um, In the New Testament Yahweh Shah said Other sheep I have of this fold You know which are I, I, other sheep I have, which are not at his fold, because really during the time of the uh, Roman Empire, it was mainly Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the, the the Southern Kingdom, which were being gathered first. Then guess what? After that, we went through a whole nother falling away, so that we could be carried uh, over here to the Americas, where our Northern Tribe brethren were, and be gathered again uh, as one. You see. Because now we in the time of the, of the last gathering, man. All right, and the Lord told the uh, the disciples and the apostles that what they must uh, uh, take this word to the end to the ends of the earth. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Matthew twenty four. And then, uh, yep, yep, yep. Let me get, grab that for yeah, you. Yeah, cunt, cunt, cunt. Uh, this is Matthew twenty four and fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom should be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. See? So now we're in the end. Because this word is, is, is being preached to all nations. Because why? Now I get the Tobit. Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, the children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. Confess him before the Gentiles, because he has scattered us among them. Right, yep. so that's why they were going to the Gentiles because we were among the Gentiles. All right, uh, I'm gonna jump to five. And he would scorch us for our iniquities and would have mercy again and would gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us. Mm. Yep, Psh, can't all get around that man. <laughs> all right, let me get this. This John 7 35 then said the Jews among themselves. Whether where he go, then we should not find him. Mm. Where he go unto the disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. Right, because the, the the disciples they knew that our people were scattered. And when you go to Matthew, matter of fact, why would